I've got a serious situation here. My pilot has gone incoherent. I have no idea how to fly the airplane. First at five, a pilot has a medical emergency while flying off the coast of South Florida. An air traffic controller then instructs a passenger how to continue flying and safely land at Palm Beach International Airport. Good evening. I'm Tiffany Kenny and I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. The emergency situation unfolded on board the single engine Cessna caravan around 1230 this afternoon. And we have team coverage of the tense moments in the air today and the quick thinking that helped prevent a crash. We begin with Ari Haidt live outside PBIA with the critical communication between that passenger and air traffic controllers. Ari. Yeah, I have no idea how to fly this airplane. That is what the passenger first said when he first made contact with air traffic control. It is absolutely amazing that he was able to get this plane on the ground safely with no injuries. Let me go ahead now and show you what that looked like. That was around 1230 this afternoon here at Palm Beach International Airport. The minutes before 1230, well, those were harrowing just to say the least. The man on board the plane radioed to air traffic control that he had a quote serious situation. His pilot was incoherent and he had no idea how to fly the plane. So air traffic control, of course, tried to help. Maintain wings level and uh, just try to follow the coast, either north or southbound. We're trying to locate you. You guys located me yet? I can't even get my nav screen to turn on. It has all the uh, information on it. You guys got any ideas on that? At one point, air traffic control asks the man where he is. He tells them he has no idea. All he knows is he can see the coast of Florida. They eventually did locate him just east of Boca Raton. And again, he did eventually land safely at Palm Beach International Airport. And again, nobody was injured. It's unclear right now what happened to the pilot. That is also part of the investigation. And the FAA is doing that investigation. So how amazing is it that a person with no flying experience was able to put that plane on the ground? Well, my colleague Terry Parker picks up our team coverage with more on that. Terry? Nothing short of a miracle. That's what a local JetBlue pilot who was landing at PBIA right behind the small plane tells me. Justin Delmolin says the single engine turbine plane is fairly sophisticated and he can't believe the flight controllers were able to talk the passenger through not only recovering from the plane's dive, but stabilizing it and then landing it safely at PBIA. The level of difficulty that this person, you know, had to deal with in terms of having zero flight time to fly and land a you know, single engine turbine aircraft is absolutely incredible. The incredible part is it's not just flying the aircraft. It's obviously, you know, the most difficult thing, which is, you know, configuring the aircraft for approach and landing um, and then landing it. And that to me is just, you know, something that for a zero time pilot, and, you know, I remember my earlier case when I first started, uh, you know, flight training. I mean, I was white knuckled and sweating for the first probably 10 hours of flight training. Justin says he heard what he heard that one of the flight controllers was a flight instructor and was able to print out a layout of that type of plane's cockpit and then guide the passenger through the buttons and the steps and the levers of flying and landing the plane. And Justin says it was lucky it was daylight so the passenger at the controls could see where he was going because it would have been extremely difficult if it had been at night or foggy. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.